Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this is Maggie May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we want to take you along with us on a day trip that we made to Mackinac Island. Now, we're staying in Gaylord, Michigan right now, about an hour south at Benjamin's Beaver Creek Resort. And we've got another video on that resort you definitely won't want to miss. But today is all devoted to Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island is kind of unique in that there are no motorized vehicles allowed on the island, save for a couple emergency vehicles. So we're going to start off and show you how we got there and what all there is to see and do there on the island. Thanks. Well, we started our morning at Mackinac City and we went on Starline for the ferry ride over to the island. Now they've got several different kinds of ships. We ended up and got one of the catamarans, which was a real nice smooth ride. But they do have a couple others and we'll show you one of their more unique ones here a little bit later. <laughs> they're big, they're comfortable. It did fill up. We were one of the first ones on. And there is the Mackinac Bridge. What a sight. And look at that sky. It's incredible. We'll be doing a video coming up here on the lower peninsula of Michigan. On that, we'll actually take you across the bridge. Loaded trucks have a 20 mile an hour speed limit and all the rest of the cars were either 40 or 45. Um, except for the one that was in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an impressive bridge. And the ferry ride that we took was one of the ones they are only offered certain times of the day that went under the bridge. What a sight. And as you come into the harbor in uh, Mackinac Island, can see the bridge off in the distance. It's a beautiful historical area and there's so much to see and do. There's really two ways to get around, either on bicycles or by a carriage. So we took the carriage tour and the carriage tour takes you through the historic downtown the original Market Street, and the one closest to the water now, which is their Main Street. You get some good information on the carriage tours about the buildings and, and the history of that area. The buildings were also beautiful. Yeah, everything just landscaped so meticulous flowers were incredible oh. everywhere you looked one of the most famous things that you see with Mackinac Island is the Grand Hotel that long front porch it is not a pet friendly building so unfortunately with Maggie we weren't allowed to go on there but most everything else on the island is pet friendly and there was so much for the for us to see just in that one day that um it was, it was okay to just see the outside, how beautiful it was. Now next up is the Surrey Hills Carriage Museum. This was a stop on our carriage ride. We had been on this smaller two horse carriage. Got off of that, went inside and they've got their firefighting equipment. even down to the hearse. Once we were finished in the museum, they have a larger three horse carriage that picks you up from there and lets you continue on the carriage tour. We had a different driver, of course, for this leg of the journey, but great information. 
He takes you back through the Mackinac Island State Park. He takes you back through a couple of the old historic cemeteries and over to Arch Rock. Now the one thing that was kind of sad with Arch Rock, they told us that with the way that the stone is deteriorating, it probably won't be there in 20 years. It's starting to really deteriorate. So I'm glad we got to see it when we did. Absolutely. Next up was Fort Mackinac. This was our final uh, stop on the carriage ride. It will take you back downtown, but we just stayed at the fort and, and walked down to the downtown. Now again, a lot of these buildings are restored. They're also restored on the inside so you can see what life in the fort was like. But you're setting up on the very top of the island looking down over the, the town and it's incredible views. Here you can start to see what life in the fort was like. This was probably the uh, commander's. Yeah. The... Yeah, you can see some of the <laughs> barracks houses. This was one of their saloons and, and recreational areas. They actually do have a tea room up there if, if you want tea or... or uh, Snacks. Light lunch, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the marina. They had some beautiful churches, too. Mm -hmm. Several historic churches there. So we ended up and walked down. You can see the white path going down there back to the downtown. The fudge shops are incredible, and it's so much fun to watch, and it's almost like gaining weight by smelling <laughs> it. There's the uh, Mackinac Museum. It was Lilac Festival when we were there, and it smelled incredible. And we went from there, just a short walk up to the original Butterfly House. And they show everything from beginning stages the, the larva mm -hmm. yeah. all the way on up to the beautiful butterflies they tell you not to touch them but if they land on you it's okay they also had a big display of, of insects and other animals too from there we walked on up to the Mission Point Resort and this is one of the, I guess, swankier resorts. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Now this is, when you come over on the ferry, this is how they get your luggage to the resort. There was a little miniature golf there. Mm -hmm. And by now it was time for lunch. So right there at Mission Point, we went to Bistro on the Greens. That little miniature golf goes around the outside patio. They had a nice light lunch menu. We started off with the lavender hibiscus lemonades. That was yummy. Yeah. And we both had gyros. Really good. Real nice lunch. Great view. We had four little rain showers while we were there. One at our truck, one while we were sitting at the table, but they had big umbrellas, so it wasn't a problem. And they lasted for five or ten minutes and yeah. that was it. I think when we were downtown. Mm -hmm. Right across from the, the bistro is this beautiful little fountain. And the flowers are all over, mm -hmm. are just beautiful. You can tell why people come here for their weddings too. Yes. This one had just finished up as we were walking by. Now downtown, the historic part of the downtown, Market Street is the original street. 
but Main Street was actually built out next closest to the water from there uh, as more tourism developed. Lots of historic buildings, their original post office, which is still in use today. It's like stepping back into another time. It sure is. And I gotta say, I love not having cars. I did too. Yeah. Bicycles, carriages, or walking, you can enjoy it no matter how you want to go. Now, there's a no unique way to get to the island. Well, Kathy, what did you think of Mackinac Island? It was really beautiful. I always come away from these places thinking I was born in the wrong era. <laughs> but I really did love it. it. It does kind of take you back to a different time in a different world. Yep. And uh, it is pet friendly. You can't really plan on taking the ferry and spending the day there if you have no, no other way to take care of your pet while you're traveling. So the ferry is, is pet friendly. The island is pet friendly. We found it a little bit difficult finding the right place to eat because there aren't a lot of them with outdoor seating or outdoor patios. But with that said, it was a great day, great time. We had a couple of showers, but they lasted 10 minutes a piece and they were done. We also learned that we have not, uh, we've kind of forgotten how to read a real map. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> More on that later. <laughs> well, with that said, we hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. We sure do appreciate that. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when all of our extra videos over this summer come out, you won't want to miss any of these travels. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.